What is up YouTube? What's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, that why did I book the Super Meteor? Am I actually trading it for my Interceptor 650? What is going on? So let's start this vlog quickly. So I'm currently in Dubai and that's the reason I could not be present at the launch which happened in Mumbai uh, which happened on 16th of January. Today is actually 17th of January I'm making this video. I did get a message that your bike has been booked and everything. Now I booked my motorcycle in December during Ridomania and most of the people on Instagram know it because they're following me there but people who don't know on YouTube or personally are asking me have you booked the Meteor 650. So I'm getting this lot of questions and I thought I should make a video properly about it. Now why did I book the Meteor 650 is very simple. I I am a sucker for Harley Davidson that's why I'm wearing that <laughs> and yes you guys know that owning a Harley Davidson and maintaining it in India is a different story so that's how it is I always wanted a badass cruiser to customize it my way that was my dream project and what's the best situation that we have a 650 parallel twin coming as that so it's going to be really a good project but initially for a year or two I will not customize it I'll ride it the way it is because I want to do a lot of touring but you never know I might go to some custom people and get some customized stuff for this motorcycle because I have a lot of vision during Rider Mania I spent two whole days just observing this motorcycle yes it is heavy it is quite heavy around 241 kilos but that's how cruisers are if you've not seen my short review or a walk around which I've done during Rider Mania Please watch that video, you'll get the idea. The reason I'm not going to talk much about the motorcycle engine is because I already own an Interceptor and I think I clocked around decent 9 to 10k on it, which makes me uh, nearly in the benchmark where I can understand that motorcycle very well. Now, I am in love with the parallel twin created by Royal Enfield and that's the reason I bought the Interceptor. As you guys already know, I do have a KTM 390 Adventure for all my touring bit. So there is no two Anna bits that if I want to tour, I do have another motorcycle. But I'm also considering a lot of new ADVs coming in the market. So might even swap that. Talking about the pricing, it is a little steep. I think it's around 50 or 60, some are even saying 70,000 more than the Interceptor at the current price. But as yes, you get upside down folks, you get the LED lights, you get a different console, a whole cruiser feel a different riding triangle basically more low slung wide bars and you can do a lot i would do mini apes maybe on it a sissy bar maybe on it i have a lot of customization plans for this motorcycle and that's why i thought this would be a perfect motorcycle for me which will be my daily commute as well as for some work and touring if i'm looking for pure off-road like recently i took my ktm g90 adventure for ladakh ride and it was a crazy expedition for an expedition i will have a separate motorcycle either i own it i rent it or even i borrow it it doesn't even matter i'm I'm planning to make some badass leather saddles for it, customize it, and I'm gonna make this bike my daily bike. So this will be used for work, as well as traveling, meeting friends, chilling with them. And yes, I love the engine, and that's what I'm getting on this motorcycle. Now talking about the weight, for me, heavy bikes don't matter to me. I've ridden Harleys, Triumphs, a lot of motorcycles which are really heavy and they perform very well so i have no issues with the weight as far as i'm putting it on a main stand or you know maybe i'm saddling and another person riding with me i might feel a little bit of weight but you know what a low slung cruisers are for people who are just cruising who are just chilling who are you know the the thing about chasing the horizon the theme really makes sense after the way to speed shocks yes guys way to speed shocks have changed the ride quality of the Interceptor 650, that video will be coming separately, a proper detailed video about way to speed. They have created something really good. I thought, you know, suspension takes time to understand, but immediately after installation, there's a 30 to 40% change in my rebound. And that's what I love it. Now, parting away from Interceptor 650 will be tough because you guys know I've done so much to it. However, keeping two 650s in the garage doesn't make sense. So swapping is not yet decided because I am in Dubai. Second Feb, I will reach Mumbai. Mostly, I should get my Super Meteor delivery in the first week of Feb or second week. I don't know. I've just got the message that I will get it in Feb. Now, the question is, will I be touring on this motorcycle? Yes, that's my whole plan. I want one versatile bike to do everything. 70% of Indian roads are bad. So, adventure bike really makes sense for touring. 
you know this bike is good if you're doing from mumbai to gujarat straight highways awesome roads or maybe mumbai to goa bangalore whatever it is goa still has bad roads because recently i went for ride mania and india bike week the roads were terrible however this is where a biker has to manage right in past also when i had the eliminator for 6 years yes kawasaki eliminator i had bajaj kawasaki eliminator and then it became avenger or whatever i had that for 6 years and i cruised on it like how after that i did have the machismo i did have the classics and in that also my arms were always free and i always got a cruiser feeling on it i know thunderbird is more of a cruiser compared to a classic because in classic the handlebars are down but however i changed the handlebars and made it my style that's how i play coming back to the most common dms i'm getting is will you be swapping your interceptor 650 because interceptor 650 looks stunning but let me tell you guys now i've changed the interceptor 650 into a touring mod spec which you can see right now on the screen okay so the mods are done again basically for touring got a spoiler here sahara seat right here trip machine bags aew exhaust running alloys are back whenever you're touring this works the best for this motorcycle Yes, the cowl, basically the front visor is back. Original handlebar. A lot of people ask me where this handlebar is from. Sorry for the background noise, but this is a original handlebar. Once you remove the brace, it looks like this. Mirrors original. Basically, everything on this bike is now stock. Few mods here and there, which I really like. That's the Eclipse uh, light. Superb. and it looks really nice however i like the cafe racer look on it which i had done it but on that i can't do touring it's fun to, to be in the city or cafes or go for a 100 km stretch a day which is pretty sorted but not for hardcore touring so i am expecting super meteor to actually do all the things which i want to but it'll be mostly interstate intercity travel and it'll be highways and that's my focus for the meteor 650 and for my daily commuting so now for the ride review for super meteor 650 you guys will have to wait from my end because i am in dubai till feb once i am there i am going to mostly review my own motorcycle that'll make more sense now i'll quickly talk about few added points which made me lean towards the super meteor 650 I'm sure everyone who owns the Interceptor 650 understands that Super Meteor 650 is a much better bike when it comes to appellion it comes to luggage system because the um, because the exhausts are lower you can actually have good bags it can have a nice backrest and overall it still look nice now when you do all this on a interceptor honestly i don't like the looks i have friends who have put these beefy seats on it they put these humongous backrest on it uh, you know risers uh, which which actually are pivot risers which come to you the handlebars come to you. The, the overall look of interceptor doesn't look good when you make it into a tourer spec now that is a, a look perspective that completely depends on you some people say we don't care as far as it rides nice which is good but for me that matters because i am in love with my motorcycle for everything for riding looks and everything so on the super meteor these mods are very achievable and that's why i thought super meteor 650 makes sense for me i can have a cc bar i can remove it i can have a normal backrest i can have the hard panniers which royal enfields providing i can have the soft panniers or i can have some badass leathers on it and make this a proper cruiser which can be used for my daily supplies for my daily commute meeting friends or even grocery shopping which i do on interceptor as well uh, with the trip machine leather bags so you guys have if you guys have seen my stories on instagram so honestly i do have alloy wheels for interceptor also as you can see in this video i have put the alloy wheels back to it so this Interceptor 650 is now fully touring ready so you might wonder that why do i need a uh, super meteor with alloy wheels but that is company fitting the other alloys are also doing damn well on my interceptor 650 which without any hindrance so overall the looks the whole feel this bike is bigger it's it's more macho it can um, uh, you know it can accommodate another person well for even a long ride so if i have someone whom i'm meeting in say delhi or gujarat that person can piggy hop we can roam around or go to you know places so with the super meteor 650 i will have a selective way of touring which will be more road biased obviously yes it will Uh, obviously take me to the mountains where there will be bad roads but i will manage slowing the speed down that is very important because back then also i'm talking really really ages back 
even when we had the classics when i had the machismo as well when i had the eliminator we would not bounce over a speed break or take our bikes hard on a pothole that was not our agenda because this is not a adventure so the first most important thing is that i should get this bike for my basic use touring highway riding and everything also the looks look good and it has a 650 parallel twin engine which i really like personally and the exhaust note yakuza the interceptor 650 which has aew exhaust really sounds badass so a next customized exhaust which will be for the meteor will sound badass too so that's where i didn't wanted to compromise and i'm happy that i'm getting the same engine swapped in my super meteor however it's more of a cruiser style and i could have apes some day make it my genre of a motorcycle and highway cruise on it now swapping this bike with the interceptor 650 i will not take the call now i do have few buyers who are interested but let's see i'll go in i'll go back home see what the situation is and i might even pick a different adv in future because i always want a set of two motorcycles right so continue watching my dubai vlogs if you not seen my dubai vlogs check them out they are more towards a lifestyle i know but in the end i will try to cover some super cars and super bikes here in dubai too hope you guys like this video if you did you know what to do press thumbs up button subscribe to my channel as usual eat well sleep well be good signing off ride with raj